Alright. New game. In the beginning, there were stars. And Eris, apparently. <laughs> or Aerith. Hmm. Ooh, those footsteps. Welcome to Final Fantasy Seven. Ooh, those polygons. Love this theme song. Wapow! Wapow! Jesse Biggs and Wedge, Mr. Garrett himself, and the main character, Cloud Sun. Come on, newcomer, follow me! Oh. I forgot it's like auto walk unless you hold a button over here. How did Barrett get it? <laughs> gets to just run past so I wanna run past too. Anywho. So I pretty much just wanna auto attack these guys because they're super weak. I do like how in this game you can actually hold the action button or whatever. The select button and it will automatically uh, select whatever you have highlighted. At the same time, I never really tried it in the other Final Fantasies to hold and see if it uh, did what I needed it to do. Alright, that's actually... oh, wait. Squares menu, that's weird. Anywho, let's change some of this around. Change this a little fast. We can do weight. I love how it says recommended. Uh, let's do memory. About that the camera angle, auto screen movement, the auto. Oh, restore attack indirect, restore indirect attack, attack indirect restore, attack restore indirect. I think I want to restore first for sure, and probably attack. So just the basic way it's set. It's good. Change window color, and this is cool. This is the first time you can actually uh, customize what color you want your whole window to be. In order to not blind us, I'm gonna try to make a dark color, but at the same time, I don't know what color that would be. Oh, it's also a uh, gradient. That's pretty cool. Let's play around with the color. Lilac, lilac is the name. 
Oh. I feel like it's like too bright. It's uh some darker stuff over here. Oh, that's better. Mm, let's keep it like that, actually. Looks pretty neat. I think that's all the uh, settings I can change, so let's just keep it like that. Alright, let's get up in there. <clears throat> so like all the other playthroughs I've been doing of Final Fantasies. Oh, what are you doing? What's up? What's up? Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? And every day you're finding one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit and he's now with us. I didn't catch your name. I'm just gonna keep it normal. Cloud oh. Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm I don't care <laughs> what your names are. Once the job's over, I'm out of here. Mr. Barrett. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you you'd never move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. Oh, they call him Mako. I like saying Mako. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Mr. Barrett's on. Press the directions while pressing cancel to run. Ooh, that uh, cutscene transition. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think we can make or have random encounters in here actually. Yep. Alright, try not to explore too much because it's not really necessary. Oh, doggy. Doggy with the braid mane. That's pretty cool. Alright, call it a tentacle actually. <laughs> what? What kind of abomination is this? He's probably been in some Mako experiments. But yeah, if you guys have been following my uh, other Final Fantasy games, you can definitely see um, the difference with this one compared to all the others. Definitely leaps and bounds change over uh, SNES ones. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shin Shinra, you know. The plant is full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright. You come with me from now on. Alright. New party member. Open the door, Jesse. Oh, that's not Jesse, that's Biggs. Jesse's over in the other corner. Right, this time it's. Oh, still. Oh, Jesse. What's up? Uh, oh. I keep reading a menu square, which is really weird to me. Uh, let's put Barrett in the back row. <clears throat> because Barrett has a machine gun arm. So he does not need to be in the front row. Push that button over there. Oh. Let me push that button over there. Switch on. Going down. Little by little, the reactors drain out all of the life. Then that'll be that. <laughs> Squ I was about to say squall, but Cloud's like, not my problem. 
plan's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. Damn it, Cloud. Heartless bastard. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was about to smack Cloud for, like, being so cold hearted. <laughs> I love how Jesse's mouth was open the whole time. Alright. Ah! Hmm, theme song changed. Oh, speaking of Robo Guards, there's one right now. Watch out! What? I'm trying to think, like, did the old Final Fantasies have a uh, victory fanfare? I know they had battle themes, but I don't know. Oh, they did, okay. <laughs> I'm like, had a huge brain fart. Oh, yeah, of course they do. What am I talking about? They had it all the way back in Final Fantasy 3. I'm pretty sure they'll have it. <laughs> and all the other ones. Take everything. Yeah. Push OK in front of the ladder to grab onto it. Then use the directional button to climb upward and down. <laughs> yeah. See the potion. Push OK in front of the ladder and then grab. Oh, same thing. Oh, that's not a ladder. This is a ladder. So the other thing is a ladder, it's just not uh, vertical enough, I guess. Uh, I think it's this way. Maybe it's not this way. The soldier goons are very goony. Yeah, <laughs> they did no damage. Oh, it's because he's in the back row. But it shouldn't matter, because Beam Gun is kind of... Looks like a ranged attack. Yeah, this HD uh, version of 7 is definitely well polished. Despite all the polygons still. I knew it wasn't that way. <laughs> this way. Unnecessary encounter. I'm going to try again not to do all that. Unnecessary encounters, but... Things happen, you know? Like, I'm about to... Well, I have two choices. I can either try to go through that little gap in the wall. Or, I can... I can try to go down. Oh! That gap does not exist! Apparently. Oh, that was a pincer attack, but it's actually a back attack. Ha! I'm in the back row now. But Garrett's in the front row. <laughs> He's still not doing as much damage as I would want him to. That's okay. I don't really bother switching rows or whatever, but... Because, uh, Barrett can't kill him in one shot, unfortunately. So the cloud has to go twice regardless. Potions. Right, here we are. Is that material on the ground? There's material on the ground. Let's go ahead and s can't even set it up. I can. Who has higher magic? Nobody. Oh, they won't even let me. I don't think. Yeah, I think there's a separate thing for materia, actually. That's why it's a gap. Fine, I won't use the materia. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. 
Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> As he's about to pull something. Watch out! This isn't just a reactor. Wait, what? What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up! Yeah, sorry. It knows we're here. Heads up, here it comes! Alright. Good old boss. First boss in the demo. Uh, let's use some bolt. So I'm trying to remember. I thought... That I need to. Oh, I didn't even check how much damage that did. But, um. So I could have sworn, uh. I'm about to use my limit break. Go ahead and use it. 92. Yep, beats 40. Search and scope. Ooh. Hey yeah. And bolt does like the same damage. Uh, but the thing is you have to use your limit break so many times so that it can uh, uh level up to the next limit. But yeah, it like didn't let me equip uh materia. But I already have materia, it looks like. Oh, tails up. Barrett, be careful. Attack while its tails up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. I we can still use magic though. Let's see. Hopefully, I don't die. Yep. Should be 100, right? Yep. Put your tail back down. I feel like that was another enemy recently. Oops, tail's down. That uh, had the same mechanic where if it's, you know, tail or something was raised or something, it will uh, counterattack. And uh, because I was hasty in my fighting, I got myself. Uh, counterattacked a lot. But that's just the way it is. Nice. It is defeated. <clears throat> but maybe taking damage intentionally is a good thing so I can level up my limit breaks as quickly as possible. Yay! Ooh, assault gun. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> I just said that. 10 minutes till destination. Let's go ahead and quit. Salt gun. Alright, there you go. That should be uh, enough to start one-shotting enemies. So I need to remember uh, Cloud set on doing bolt. Oh, maybe not. Gun. Oh yeah, the thing with limit breaks is that regardless on when you queue up, you will go first. That is the power of limit breaks. Ouch. Let's go and save because I like saving a lot. Alright, 
let's get out of here. I believe you can't encounter enemies on ladders. Which is pretty good. Just as long as I don't encounter them here. As I'm running to the next ladder. <laughs> Jess is like, what going on? Take like the bonds implanted. Come on, Jess, we gotta get out of here. Unless you're stuck. You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. Oh, yeah. So I wonder what happens if you didn't like save her there. I guess she dies. This is gonna be a long fight. Warning! Warning! Enemy sighted. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is like no damage. Uh oh. My limber break's about to pop for Barrett. Kinda living life on the edge by not healing. Save my limber break for the next fight. Yeah, I believe the first uh, limit break upgrade is when you do 10 limit breaks for that character. <laughs> Jesse's like <laughs> gliding up the steps of the ladder. It's kind of weird. So, how you do that? Alright. Whoa, whoa. We out. Hit the button. It's funny how he hits the same button. But it still goes up. Are we out this piece? Oh. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Well. Go decipher. What if we were supposed to remember who opened which door? Because yeah, Jesse opened the last two while Biggs opened the first. Oh, back attack on you guys. Haha! -ha. Now, fortunately, you can't use your regular attack if, it's like, say you wanted to save your limit break. You're forced to use it if you're gonna do normal attack. Only way you can save it is either skip your turn or. Um, Use magic or something, but of course, Barrett does not have any magic because we're not allowed to equip the materia. I don't think. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, I think I no should be okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking of the next. Oh, Jesse, stop falling down. Bam. Ooh. It's crazy because I think Midgard's like the only town that does this. That uh, drains Mako like this. I say town, I mean like city, nation. I should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back. How many bombs do we have? <laughs> we get all the way back. Somersault. <laughs> Cloud just had to be cool and <laughs> jump roll out. Alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. I sir. Hey, hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Dang it. Because I'll follow Barrett. You know, I said split up, but. <laughs> Love us. Press a movie. 
Jeez, Eris. Everyone's panicking. Knocked it down. Excuse me. What happened? You better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but alright. I forget I was supposed to like choose the other dialogue option. Ooh. Received another potion. Am I healed up? I am, nice. I didn't have to waste any potions. Hey, you there! Shinra soldiers! Later! Halt! Nope. We ain't fight nobody. I mean, technically we could, but this happens regardless. So, save time and just run away. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Not today. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Leap of faith. Cloud never came. Cloud. Think he was killed? No way. Cloud. <laughs> Open up. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay and fight for Avalanche? How the hell did I know? Do I look like a mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett. What about our money? Ah, uh, nothing. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Surprise! Cloud, 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 cloud. <laughs> Looks like I'm a little late. You damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. <laughs> Having everyone worried like that, you don't give a damn about no one but yourself. <laughs> hmm. You were worried about me? What? That's coming right out of your share, hot shot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Oh, he's closed the door, you know. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. <laughs> Biggs, your mouth is open. Haha, <laughs> Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Why is everyone's mouth is open? That's kind of funny. Careful. I'll shut this. Thanks. At least someone's sensible. Why is your mouth open? <laughs> oh, Cloud. Your face is pitch black. Wipey, wipey. There you go. <laughs> Watch your mouth open. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Oh, yeah. Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7. Train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgard Standard Time. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> He's like, it's a guy with a machine gun on his hand. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. It's like they all know that we're from Avalanche. Huh? This is my house, so you make yourselves at home. This <laughs> is by a bum. Stop acting like a damn kid. Shut up and sit down. Or something. Over the other dude. He seems a little... You see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one in the reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor? They should put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Oh. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure they will change it by tomorrow. 
Someday Avalanche is going to be famous. And me, too. Oops. Cloud, don't you think I got a bright future ahead of me? What do you have in mind? All my life, I felt like nothing but a sidekick. But after joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like I can do a lot of things. Oh, dang it. Someday Avalanche is going to be famous. And me, too. All right, Jesse. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. You know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgard. It's about a 1 to 1,000th scale. Or 10,000th scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. Psst, whisper, whisper. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight, or all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them uh, by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew. Look what's next. Look! This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked to, up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Whisper, whisper. We definitely look suspicious. So we're using fake IDs. Yeah, this is pretty much the uh, first Final Fantasy that is like more modern. Um, you know, computer screens and stuff. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. Whisper, whisper. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. Oh. Snore. <laughs> uh, ah. Please don't bother the other passengers. Oh, I guess we can't go up to the other car. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. You know, it's kind of reminiscent of a cocoon, actually. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Cocoon in Final Fantasy 13. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that pizza that people underneath are suffering. When the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. <laughs> so this scene reminds me of a... Uh... Cyan and the Ghost Train, or the Phantom Train, in Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. <laughs> I love how we're all running around, like, very suspiciously looking around. Yo, get over here, all y'all.
This mission was success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part is still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Seventh Heaven, right? So it's called. <laughs> That's funny, he just like shoots his gun around so everyone leave. There's Waifu Tifa. Heh <laughs> heh. You wanna meet your little baby? Little baby? Hey, don't act like you don't know what I mean. I'm telling you. Okay, go on ahead. Papa. Marlene. Aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Did I? Say not this time. That was pretty tame. Hmm, you've grown up. When you were little, you used to get into fights at the drop of a hat. That's good old waifu Tifa. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Everyone's <laughs> drinking. That's that air. Uh, what should we call it? <clears throat> Tifa's theme. Sorry, Cloud. Merlin seems a little shy. I I talk to. Oh, wait. Talk to the girl. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Cloud, Tifa really knows how to cook. Hmm, anyways, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly poly. <laughs> Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. Ah, nothing like a first drink after a job. Kick. Why don't you have one too? Sure, why not? Oh, that's more like it. And if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. What about you, Jesse? Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. No. Oh. Let's try to leave. Let's try leaving. Papa, welcome home. You alright, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. I should remember something. I forgot to configure something. One second. So we are now playing. Five to seven. So we can try talking to Tifa. Sit down. Oh, special dialogue. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Oh, I can make a drink just as good as anyone else. Everyone says my drinks taste the best. Oh, if that's the case. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. I guess I should have taken her up on that offer. Oh well. <laughs> Barrett punching a bag. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? No way. None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here right now. Don't go thinking you so bad just because you wasn't Soldier. <laughs> Biggs is like, don't do it. You're making me clip this table to hold you back. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that you're a skinny ass working for Avalanche now. 
Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Syndra. Staying with Syndra? You asked me a question, I answered it. That's all. Me. Nee. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Oh, Tifa. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shindra. Shut up. I don't care about Shindra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. I don't give a fool about nothing. What about the TV stations called Sin? Later on, Final Fantasy X, uh, that's the main uh, antagonist. <laughs> Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. No way, darling. <laughs> Sorry, Tifa. The plan is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Baron and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk out and ignoring your childhood friend? What? Sorry. <laughs> you forgot the promise too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. When he was ten. <laughs> or twelve, I guess. Look, the well. Do you remember? Can't remember. Oh, yeah, back then. <laughs> I guess I can't remember. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. <laughs> oh, baby Cloud. He's like 12 year old Cloud. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Damn, Tifa. <laughs> 12 year old Tifa. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just doing. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Or I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um... If you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you come save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? <laughs> come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. So cute. <laughs> Save me, Cloud. You remember now, don't you? I'll promise. <laughs> nope. Oh, <laughs> I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Oh, 
things broke. Wait a second, big time soldier. Pulls money out of his chest piece. Yeah, give me that gill, baby. 1500 gill, yeah. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3000 What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for help, right? Uh, that money's for Marlene schooling. 2000 <laughs> Thanks, Cloud. Yay for promises. You <clears throat> can't say no to your waifu. Well, I guess Cloud doesn't see her as a waifu at this moment. So I guess it makes sense. Going up. I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. There. Oh, Marlene's making drinks now. What? Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Bear snoring cut me up. Psst. Keep it down, they'll hear you. Bear's always edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. I'm going this time. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I don't really know how to use Materia. I'll give you that Materia you found. Just teach me how to use it. Sigh. I don't need to get an explanation. So this is what makes them guys and soldiers so great, huh? Okay, I'll ask Jesse again later. But you're in charge of the materia. Sounds good. But yeah, I know how to equip materia, so I'm not worried about it. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while I'm gone. Or while we're gone. Alright, good luck. So I wonder how old Marlene is. Probably like 10? 8, 10? Uh... Anyways, get some material up in here. I also see that it reduces your strength. Uh, it's weapon shop upstairs, right? Where upstairs? Over here? You dried up, old geese? You tired? Oh. Why don't you rest up on third floor of my house? There's just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. Nothing. Cheap ass. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. Wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Do you have weapons? You have armor. There's also a bunch of grenades. Uh. Oh, 911. Just three. One for everybody. I believe grenades are what I want to be having. Uh, I'm supposed to go to the weapon shop up top. I think this is just the item. Oh, what the? Oh. That's nice. Quit and maybe you'll press control Q. Oh. Finger, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the position cursor. Call me whatever whenever you're walking around confused. Person says you know appear. Jeez, you stand out even more than I do. Mind the way. If so, person says one more time. I'm pretty busy myself and I can't always come when you need me. If I don't show up sometimes, don't get mad. Later. Red triangles mark the exits, and green triangles mark ladders. These will help you safely make it through even the darkest streets or dangerous mountains. There are always times when they won't appear, so be careful. Uh, it's going to equip. Whip. Equip. Do 
was used. This is a favorable save point. Save. I knew about that. Oh, this should be all I need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. I'm a treasure chest. It's nice. Uh, can I? Oh, so can I use that uh, save point? Okay, I'm not really too uh, concerned with talking to everybody else. So let me just save. Let me just save and head out. Well, that's a material right on the floor. That is. Hey, you got one right off. That was material. Next, take the treasure chest. Treasure chest. I don't know where. Got an ether. Nice. All right. So the all material means I can take whatever material is attached to it. Say lightning or ice, and make it so everyone gets hit by it. Though I wonder if I should do that with the restore. I think restore might be a better thing. Heal everybody. Oh. What? This is slum, so you can think it's stay for free. What are you gonna do? Just see you just make me sleepy? Nah, I'm good. Tough guy, you better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. Hmm, I guess we technically went to the weapon shop then? Yeah. Fast way down. Bagoosh. Bagoosh. Hehehe, <laughs> you'll forget about it. Oh, you! Get my friend on the second floor to teach you. Teach me what? I just. Oh, I don't care. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think there's anything unless I can buy. I already have the assault gun. Alright. I think we're good to uh, start on our journey to the next place of Midgard. Or maybe I can explore their rooms. Who are you? Oh, this is an item store? Yep. Ooh, customer. We sell, we buy. We can get fire and ice. Do I really want it? I guess I can get fire. Wow, they didn't even tell me how many do you want. They're just like, here, take it. Let's give it to Tifa. Alright, I think I can get out of here now. Can I read the sign? Oh, can't go that way. She just goes in her house. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Is this Bigs or Wedge's house? Haha, -ha, I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. Uh-oh. Okay. Mm, toilets. question is, whose house is this? Alright, let's just move on. Let's also save again. File has been locally saved. Appreciate it. You know, I got some tickets to Loveliness. Or Loveless, do you want to go? What are you, retarded? Make you guys under martial law now. Back 
to the train. Yo, this ain't no private car, so split up. <laughs> He's back. Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? Hoodlums. <laughs> Barrett, you say something? I said you said something. Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's it's empty because of g guys like you. <laughs> ah. Yipes. You. You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there will be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shindra? I won't give in to violence. Barrett. You lucky. <laughs> uh, so, what are we gonna do now? The hell are you so calm? You're busting out my rhythm. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So, what's our next target? Ha, listen to Mr. Serious about his work. All right, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Hinder is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Midgard Line Airlines. Arrival time at Sector Four Station is 11:45. That means we only got three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? <laughs> Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Let's go. So what you got, Tifa? Hmm, looks like you've already seen this. It's all right. Come a little closer. Oh yes. Early checkpoint. That's all. That checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type 8 security alert. Unidentified passengers confirm. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. A type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry. Get to the next car. Someone blew it. Let's go. Keep it up. Lockdown. Upgrading to level 2 warning. Hurry. They're locking down doors, sir. Just run. Change the plan, too. Yeah, I think we're able to like talk to people, but you don't want to get locked down. Upgrading to level 3. All right, we clear? Not yet, they're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry, if we move off the train car by car, we should get past it. Shit. Oh, what? Oh, he took my money. He took my, good thing I don't have much money, right? Maybe he didn't take my money, I don't know. Just watch out. Going to maximum security alert. All the guards been knocked out or something? All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're gonna dive out of here. Let's go. It's scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why don't you come along the way anyway? Because, hey, you two, there ain't no time for that. Kawagabanza. It's me, Jesse. How do I look, Cloud? 
<laughs> Do I look good in a shin uniform? Yeah, you look great, just like a man. Yay, I'm so happy. I think. <laughs> so yeah, apparently Jesse has like, a thing for Cloud. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump. Oh yeah. You don't care if I go first? A leader always stays till the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Yo, don't go get in your spiky ass or it's only the beginning of the mission. Oh yeah. Later, you take care of the rest. Woohoo! Alright. Good, so everything's going as planned. Don't get you don't let your guard down until we get to sector five reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it. Move it. The reactor's just down this tunnel. So I wonder what uh I think that thief guy stole something. Oh, what? Oh you take something? I still have my stuff, I don't know. He might have taken some gill, but that's okay. Alright, Tifa, I guess he can power level you a little bit. Oh no. Stuck to slow, I believe. Yep. Not more silk. Pow, 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 pow. Punch, low kick. Alright. Keep on going. Uh oh. Guess it's not this way. Those light beams are the security sensors. Uh, Shinja security sensors. We can't go any further. Unless we go down here. That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Look inside. There seems to be anything that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, we'll be able to go back. Don't be wasting time, never know when Shinra will find us. You just gotta go. Let's go then. But damn man, this thing gives me the chills. So I'm pretty sure I could have like went backwards down the tunnel or whatever. And that might have been an item or something. But I'm pretty much skipping all that. It's good ambience music. Ambience. Let's see this other ducks and stuff as well. Let's run up this way. Oh, there's a uh, Biggs over there. I'm not sure if I was supposed to talk to him, but I'm gonna check this ladder first. Maybe there's something here. Jesse. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. It's okay, Jesse. Next time, I'll give you something better. I'll be back in the, at the hideout in my research room working on it. Alright. No big deal, yo. I wonder if this takes us to, uh, Biggs. Oh, takes us to something else. 
switch. Or Biggs. This is Biggs. We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up that reactor. Oh, it's the reactor in this direction. Oops. Wow. <laughs> Random encounter. And it's a back attack. Ah, miss. That did no damage. Hell bubbles. What does hell bubbles do? It's definitely rough with the uh, Tifa and Cloud on the back row. Right. Maybe I should have talked to uh, Wedge. So I missed out on his dialogue. It's all good. Wee. Yeah, shortcuts. It's crazy, I really don't remember this part. Sliding down that little slide there to get to the reactor. The rest of it is the same as the other one. Just be able to auto attack until it dies. Yosh. Loves up. Did the same thing as last time. Another save point. I love how these machine gun bullets are like you know, not doing much damage as they should.
I should really put the all materia for uh, Cloud. Pretty sure it would have saved us a lot of uh, time here. Of course, I don't think it would one shot everything, but at the same time, it could have. I don't know how much edge fear it has. Or they all have, I mean. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Make everywhere. Oh, get flashbacks or something. Papa. Sephiroth. Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Mako reactors, Shindra. I hate them all. Damn man, get older yourself. You all right, Tifa? Hmm. No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. Let's go. I love how they like put the save thing here just in case. Because like, you know, if we had just done this and so we're expecting another boss fight like right here. <laughs> but then we kind of got tricked. Sort of. Because mm, there is a boss fight, it's just not right there. Me dog, oh, yeah, Look at those crit attacks. What well, is weak against electricity? So I can find out. Oh. Mm, can't say if they are or not. I will say. I'll hit you with this fire. 
I forget if uh, darkness goes away after each battle. I think it does. I think poison is the only thing that doesn't. Maybe... I don't know. I guess we'll see in a second. Nope, we're good. Alright. Look at that Mako smog right there. Bow. Treasure. Another ether. Oh yeah. Gotta press it all at the same time. Jesse said we have or we all have to push the button at once. Oh. No good, let's try it again. No good, let's try it again. <laughs> At first they didn't like count me down, so I'm like, wait. <laughs> Supposed to say when you're going. It's the uh, one thing you really need to do when you're trying to synchronize. This so again, they uh, fully tricked us with the other save. But that's okay. It's not like you waste anything for saving. That's why I keep saving a lot. Special combatant. This way. The Shindra soldiers. Shindra soldiers. For <laughs> what's going on? A trap. Question is, how do they know we're gonna go to this one? Other than I guess the train. The train uh, detected that we were here. President Shindra. Why is the president here? Hmm. So y'all must be... What was it? Avalanche. And don't you forget. So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, you. You're the one who quit, soldier, and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd be exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place's going This place going up with a big bang soon. Serves y'all right. It's such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the ver Shinra are the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you King Vermin. You sh oh, so shub, jackass. You're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Why you dinner, don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangement for our playmate for you all. Hm? What's that noise? Airbuster, I believe it's called. The hell is that? <laughs> it's like a super Roomba. Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier. He sounds like a lawnmower. Oh, because that's a helicopter, which sounds like a lawnmower. Now then, if you excuse me. Wait, President! He's gone. 
Yo, Cloud, we've got to do something about him. Ah. Help, Cloud. This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm going to bust him up. This is my favorite <laughs> theme song. Alright, Tifa. Ah, dang it. <laughs> that lag. Alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just has to turn around so slow. I mean, so pretty much you want to hit it from behind to do double damage or whatever. But I guess the only problem is. Wah. Only problem is he uh, counterattacks, but at least he turns his back on you. Uh, I think I should probably cure everybody. I don't mind having like multiple limit breaks here. Whoa! Turn function non-operational. Ah, he can shoot out his ass though, so he can't turn anymore. But big Baba, I think Tifa just died. Oh yeah, she did. Sorry, Tifa. It's okay. Can't turn around, but oh, he's dead. He's dead! I say it's okay that Tifa didn't get experience because that's about to happen next. Oh no! It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? Be strong. You worry about yourselves. I'm alright, but take care of Tifa. Alright, sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. Uh... No. That's a good like 30 story drop probably <laughs> 30 to 50 even you all right can you hear me y yeah back then I only got scrapes and knees what do you mean by back then what about now can you get up what do you mean by back then what about now don't worry about me worry about yourself now I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello, hello? I know. Hey, who are you? Hello, hello. So Aerith is the actual, like, voice here. Like, dialogue box. At first it's just Cloud's thoughts. Thinking to himself. Mm, cause he was like back then. You okay? This is a church in the sector five slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. <laughs> You're lucky. Uh, somehow, flower bed. Is this yours? Must be a super flower bed, cause it doesn't matter how <laughs> all that stuff here. Should have splatted regardless. Sorry about that. It could also be the make one, my blood. That's alright. The flowers here are resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgard. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. <laughs> Just keep shrugging, Cloud. Just keep shrugging. Uh, 
Oh. So we meet again. <laughs> so I guess we do meet again. Cloud, like, does remember, though. Or maybe he does, but he doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. You were selling flowers. <laughs> you were slum drunk. Oh, I'm so happy. You didn't buy any flowers from me, though. Because well, you didn't say anything, girl. Girl. Well, that's okay. Say, do you have any materia? <laughs> Why, yeah! <laughs> it's like, do I have materia? He just like, shows them all to her. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. And she has the holy materia. But that's spoilers for later. Good for nothing. You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. <laughs> Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we meet again. I tell you, I got nothing to talk about, but I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. It'll just be a minute. <laughs> Runs away. Just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... Eris. Wait. I thought it was Aerith. Hmm. Eris. Hmm. I always thought it was a TH at the end. I'm Eris, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Oh, that's Reno. Me? I did a little bit of everything. Oh, Jack of all trades. I see you, Reno, back there. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Sorry, bad timing on my part. Cloud, don't let it get to you. What? Wait, what? Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay, then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? A what? <laughs> Wave that finger. Don't know who you are, but... You don't know me. <laughs> the, the finger snaps. You don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. A uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno. Want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. Exit is back here. Or back there. <laughs> that laugh. I was just laughing. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, alright. Come on, get to work. Reno look a little suspect here. Oh. And don't step on the flowers. They're ruined. You're gonna catch holy hell. You just stepped on them yourself. <laughs> okay. Here. Guard stick. Take the Titan Bangle. Him. You get the iron one. Oh, nice. I take both material from uh, the other peeps. Oh, 
Oh, I was like, why is she missing two MP? But it's because of the material I just equipped. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to. There they are over there. Cloud that one. I know. Looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't just let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. <clears throat> Play mini game. Air this way. Just like, I don't think we can jump that way. <laughs> no good. All right, I'll hold them off. Right. Make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. Attack! 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 Ah! <laughs> Holy crap! Did we kill them? They never should have fought us. Jeez. Cloud, help. Damn. What's that? Run. Oh, all right. Push it over. Oh. Cloud, help. It's better just push it over. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, Cloud, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? My friends put it in the back row as well, I believe. But, oh, they're dogs. Dog is. Dog is get burned. Oh, okay. They do minimal damage. Maybe she's already in the back row. Haha! -ha. Let's make sure she's in the back row. She is. Not with me. <laughs> Dang it. I'm finding people up here somehow. I wonder if ice would have been better. I think so, actually. Oh, well, same thing. these barrels over. Cloud, help! Oh. Oh, alright. Ah. Uh. Alright, eat barrel, fool! Uh, why don't you let me push it over? There, it's this way. Okay. <laughs> Why don't let me push all these barrels? What? Oh, I guess we're going this way. Not quite. Should we just diagonal one then? Let's go, Eris, this way. <laughs> Eris, like, how do you do that? I thought they're just sitting on the roof. Aha, they're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've uh, been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. They look like it. But... Why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be a soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get uh, want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. We'll get out of here. 
<laughs> Cloud just like just runs across all these rooftops and debris. Wait, wait, I said. Yeah. Yeah. I just realized she is wearing like a dress skirt or whatever, but <laughs> because they're made out of polygons. They <laughs> it's like all squares and or cubes and stuff. Slow down, don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were gonna cut out to be in soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey Cloud, were you ever in soldier? Well, I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's a sign of those who have been fused with Mako. A mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Well, I mean, <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing. Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Alright. Oof, finally made it. Now what? Home's this way. This is over here. Hurry before they come. Save spot. Bring me some save spots. Should be able to fight things in here, I thought. Yup. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Oh, what are those? Don't like the looks of that. Whole eater. Well, bam. Mm-hmm. Who the hell are you? Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, I guess they can't go this way. These dudes are blocking away. So let's go up this way. That guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers uh or ah. <laughs> you ever hear of the wall market? Yup. Oh yeah, then maybe I should have you pick up something for me next time you're there. This guy's sick. He passed on nearby and someone must have helped him here. <laughs> Look at his face. This is the one. Won't you help him? Listen, I'm not... I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey. That man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. Mmm. Mmm. Interesting. So that'll come into play later. The idea of people having tattoos. Especially if they're sick. Hey! Hey, didn't your mother ever teach you not to barge into houses and own people's freezers? Whoops. I wanted to talk to you, but... we got a lot of good materia. Why don't you look? Materia. Oh, it's the same materials. Eh, let's not buy anything. Let's not sell anything either. Let's just get out of here. Should be like a weapon store, right? I don't mind getting the next weapon for Cloud. Only trade items if you have Gil. I feel like I should buy some antidotes. Let's not worry about Phoenix Towns. Let's not worry about tents. Let's worry about having uh, enough money for weapons. There's a very small room here. <laughs> Everything President Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche, or whatever you call him. 
you can bat it around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. So, who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lied to myself, that's for sure. It's kind of funny. Upstairs. This kid's like out of, <laughs> out of it. Now, no one will find it. Top drawer and the bottom one. So I should have been smart and just open the one in between. Nah, you can take the five. You can leave the five. It's only five gil. I don't need five gil like that. It's still for kids. Turtle's Paradise. Okay, there's nothing eventful in that house. Look at this trailer. Take yourself off. You need to find some weapons. Yes, weapon, please. Need to buy more grenades. Not too many more. I can buy part two. Because mm, later on, I believe, um, especially if, if you haven't grounded, <laughs> grinded, um, Grenades actually do a fair amount of damage, like 200 something, I think. That's too damn bad. I ain't got no weapons to sell you. And the reason is, the weapon store is over that way. Well, she doesn't have any weapons either, just grenades. Which is nice and all, but I would rather have, like, hey, you, I was gonna try to talk to you. Out of the way, move. You want something? Move into the store. What's up this way? Oh, nothing. It's a dead end up there. Alright. Let's move to the right. Alright. It's definitely Harris' house. I also saw some material out there. I'm home, Mom. I believe this is our foster mom as well. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? You were followed again? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm alright. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. My name's Elmra. So, what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl friend. Girlfriend? It's technically yes, I guess. I don't know, they have this like you know, very familiar friendship. Cause they're childhood friends. Mm, let's just say no way. Kee hee hee hee. You don't have to get that upset. Well, that's nice. Let's see, Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? That's why I actually know, you know, several girls like that. You know, just more... Uh, new wave feminists that, uh, you know, girls aren't just delicate creatures. Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. Especially in this day and age, you know, it's more accepted that women aren't like these little daisies <laughs> or something. But dear, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Mom's always right. Ares, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah. 
or I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but could you please leave here, leave here tonight without telling Air telling Eris? <laughs> so let's go tell Eris right now. I guess you, uh, we have to go to sleep first, then we can sneak out. You need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you better get some rest tonight. Sounds good. Cloud. Good night. <laughs> so you're not gonna sleep as well? Don't you need to rest? Oh man. Seems pretty tired. What? I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since then. My, how you've grown. I think that's his mom, right? I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I feel a lot better if you settle down with a nice girlfriend. <laughs> I'm alright. You should have an older girlfriend. One that will take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> There's an item sack in this room that I can grab. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should go. I should be alright by myself. Oh, yeah, I want that item. Got a potion. So we're not supposed to run because you. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Cloud, I thought the Turks came back. Get some rest. Oops. Of course, Eris is uh, anxious, staying up all night. But yeah, pretty sure I'm not supposed to run because it definitely will make noise on this wood, uh, laminate wood. Can't get caught this time. So I didn't try to get caught. Can I just jump out the window? Not make too much noise. Is the mom out here? Yeah, I think if I run, I'll make noise, so. Just gonna walk it out. Walk it out, walk it out. Oops. Hit that save. A lot of times I'm saving because I don't want to have to like redo dialogue. Because I am on time crunch. There's only a couple weeks left till Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. I want to finish this before then. But I do need to uh, secure a copy. Cover materia. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Let's get some cover. Don't know if cover yeah increases vitality. I'm guessing there's actually nothing up there. Uh, yeah, we're technically still in sector five. I was I'm assuming. Sector 6 over here. Ah! <laughs> You're all bright and early. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? Because I'm a healer. You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. Wait. <laughs> Nothing you can do. Once a girl's uh, mind's made up, she's going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to try my best not to fight anything. I remember for the longest time when I first played this game, I was so confused on how to get past this level, because the terrain was all weird and stuff. How to bomb, uh, 20 damage. Hell's house. Set on fire. That's pretty funny actually. <laughs> Set the hell house on fire. Oh, not darkness. S 
Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a lot more damage than that. <laughs> Poor Eris, afflicted by darkness. I'm going to kind of exploit this a little bit. Oh, never mind. It's already dead. Because <laughs> when you have limit, uh, your A to B bar fills up almost instantaneously. Um, so yeah, you can just keep like casting magic or doing something that's not doing your limit break, and you will. Uh, And then you will uh, keep your limit break uh, status, so your ATB keeps filling up very fast. So yeah, get your Sector 7s in there. Thanks, I guess this is goodbye. You're going to be alright going home? Oh no, whatever is what I do, isn't that what you want me to say? <laughs> Take her home. Is that a little out of the way? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Can we take a break? Oh. I can't believe it's still here. It's interesting that, uh, again, Eris lives very close by. Yeah, we don't know if she's always lived in Sector 5 all her life. Cloud, over here. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in Soldier. Oh, I was... First class. <laughs> Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> that chocobo looks kind of funky, actually. Barely funky. Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa? Oh, we're already doing this part. That girl in the cart was Tifa? Oh, is she going? She looked kind of odd. I haven't played this game for so long that, uh, maybe well, not so long, but for a while that I forgot the, uh, current chain of events. <laughs> I'll go on alone. You go home. Nope. She's in there. She is in there. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast. Stan will go ahead and hit the safe spot. It's about that time. So we'll go ahead and end it here.